Welcome to Power BI Embedded Step by Step series. Myself, Dhruvin Shah, and you are watching the first part of this series. If you have visited my channel for the first time, then hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to never miss any updates from my channel. So now, let's get started. During this first video, we are going to cover the following topics. The first topic that I am going to cover is overview of Power BI Embedded. Then we are going to discuss about the different out of the box ways to implement this Power BI embedded functionality. And last we will talk about the real life use cases and scenario why do we need to go with the code approach of Power BI embedded. So now let's get started. The first question arise in your mind at the moment is what is Power BI embedded. So let me give you the answer of your question. The Power BI Embedded provides us a flexibility to embed your rich Power BI dashboard and report to any third party custom application or a SaaS application. Now if you are a developer then definitely this question arises in your mind then how? How we can embed our Power BI dashboard or a report into third party application securely? So let me give you the answer of your question. Microsoft actually provide different kind of SDK in order to embed your Power BI report or a dashboard securely within the third party application. Here are the two examples of those SDK. The first SDK that is provided by Microsoft is Power BI SDK for ASP.NET and second one is Power BI SDK for JavaScript and AngularJS. So we are going to cover both of these SDK during this entire video series. Before we proceed with the coding approach of Power BI Embedded, let me show you some out of the box ways to embed your Power BI report into third party applications without writing a single way of code. Let's talk about its advantages and disadvantages of each of the method. The first out of the box option is Publish to web. So let's log in into Power BI service and check out this function. Here is my Power BI service account. It is my report and now I want to integrate this report into third party application. So to check the publish to web option go to the file menu and click on the publish to web option. So here you can see a prompt message that if you enable this option and publish your report to the web, it can be anonymously accessible by anyone from the internet. So basically, this is not a secure way to embed this report into any third party application because this option doesn't ask for any authentication. So basically, anyone from the internet can access your report. So if you belong to any finance, any uh, healthcare organization then definitely you can't choose this option to publish your report to the web all right so this was the first option the second out of the box option is embed power bi report securely into third party application so now let's check out this feature go to the file menu and here you have an option to embed securely embed the report into website or portal. Now this feature doesn't require any coding skill. If your requirement is something like you just need to embed this report to your any third party application or a SaaS application then this one is a based option for you. Here it basically provide a secure embed code in form of iframe or maybe in form of URL. So basically if you just add this iframe code into your HTML page then it will embed this report into your third party application. But here there is one limitation like whenever user want to see this report in the browser for the first time they must have to log in into the using their Power BI Pro account otherwise they can't able to see this report. So this was the second option. Now the third option is to securely embed this report into SharePoint online. The third option is useful for those users who have who are using the SharePoint 
as their backend. So actually go to the file menu and here you can see the option to embed the report into SharePoint Online. When you click on this feature, it provides you the link to embed the report into SharePoint Online. In SharePoint Online page, it provides you the modern Power BI web part in which we just need to enter this link and it will embed this report securely into your SharePoint Online portal. So these are three out of the box ways to integrate your Power BI report into your third party application or custom SharePoint portal. During this series, we are not going to use any out of the box way to integrate the report into third party application. We are going to use the coding approach to integrate the report into third party application. Suppose you are working with a large medical healthcare organization which has the different kind of audiences like patient, physicians, APCs, HR, finance and lots of more people. Now let's say the healthcare organization already using the custom portal named MedHealth for their reporting. Now the main concern of the organization is something like if I am login with the user of doctor then I can able to see only my information. It will not show me the entire organization's information. So basically in technical term it is said to be row level security. In practical life there are lots of situation in which in our third party custom solution has so many custom controls like text box or radio buttons and all and we need to pass those values as a filter in our report. So this kind of functionality can be achievable using our Power BI embedded. So using this Power BI embedded code base approach you can apply different kind of filters like visual level, page level and report level filter in your report. So basically Power BI embedded with a code approach is a perfect solution for your organization. So that's all for this introduction video. In next video we are going to cover about the overview of common steps that needed to be performed to embed the Power BI report in third party application using apps on data concept. Thank you. If you have any question related to this video, you can email us at dhruvinsha16 at gmail.com or you can whatsapp me on plus 919537981467. If you really like this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to receive the constant notification from our channel. If you want to receive a daily whatsapp notification from my channel, just click on this icon it will redirect you to this form fill the form so that you will receive the daily notification on whatsapp stay connected with me on my facebook page linkedin and twitter the links are available in the description box